happening in L.A.? Visiting family. On the last season of Praise the Lords, I was making 300,000 a week. Nine years old. What are they offering? Five million. Free. I hired a girl. It's amazing. Why is it amazing? This isn't a very glamorous job. I'm not used to glamour. She's disfigured, burned in a fire on her face. <laughs> Do you know how my mother died? Mm -hmm. In a fire? Robert, we spoke when you did the first Twilight and you w seemed very pained by the whole Hollywood process. And you were shy. <laughs> yes, you did. I, I wish I had the it's tape with me. <laughs> and, and avoiding, you know, being in the spotlight and stuff. And this film, of course, explores childhood stardom mm. or, you know, late teen stardom. Have you adjusted? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I kind of. I mean, I, I'm glad I was a little bit older when Twilight happened. I mean, I, I guess it came out when I was about 21 or 22 or something. Um, I think it makes a big difference if you're 50, 14, 15 or something. With that huge fame that's rare. Yeah, and also I kind of, because I sort of fell into it and didn't really realize what was going on, and then uh, at the beginning, so I was just kind of having a laugh. I mean, when I was, I mean, because also there weren't, I mean, it didn't feel like it was Harry Potter, and that was the only precedent before that. Um, and so I just basically like, spent the next three years just kind of messing around <laughs> and, and and working constantly. So, I, I mean, I think the real eye of the storm was over by the time I kind of had any time to think about it. So that was kind of all right. Well, that's okay. Yeah. That works out. Uh, of course, David takes a very dim view of Hollywood in the film. <laughs> and... Yeah, I hope it's extreme, but do you see these elements? Yeah, I mean, there's kind of certain archetypes and the characters and stuff. But I mean, I was just saying earlier, I don't th like. I guess it can seem as if you know the, uh, he has a dim view of it, but I think he's presenting like very r raw, emotional people. Uh, kind of, they're really on the, their uh, their psyches a little bit ragged, and I think in some ways he's extremely sympathetic to them. I mean, like like with Havana especially, that like, kind of revealing her humor and pathos is kind of. Um, I think he's very sympathetic to her. I mean, you don't hate her. I don't think anyone could hate yeah. the character. Yeah. And it's a, like, I mean, in reality, those kind of women are hated by everyone. <laughs> like, you don't hate her at the end of it. And it's a testament to, to Julianne as well. <laughs> well, thank you so much, and congratulations on Maps of the Stars. Thanks so much. On the forehead of my friends, on every hand.